出戏啦，王奶奶，唔好俾佢走鸡。Sometimes you just can't put China away and hope it will forget how powerful a force it is on Earth. Lucky Grandma is set in New York's Chinatown, while Polanski's Chinatown ends on the opposite coast, unifying, so to speak. A family's concern about the welfare of Grandma, Sai Chin, after Grandpa's death, is exacerbated by her finding a load of mobster money after her visit to a casino. The gangsters want it back, and she's her smoking, feisty little self, not willingly to give anything to anyone. Lucky Grandma brings the story of Grandma. As the movie opens, we are in Chinatown, New York, and Grandma is having her fortune told. You lucky day is coming on October 28, the fortune teller says. On that day, Grandma empties her bank account savings, all of $1,700, and heads out of town to a casino. On the return bus trip, the guy sitting next to her dies of a heart attack, and Grandma notices his bag is full of cash, mostly $100 bills. She decides to run off with it, but it isn't long before she is visited by Chinese mobsters. At this point, 12 are less than 15 minimum. Into the movie, but to tell you more of the plot would spoil your viewing experience. You'll just have to see for yourself how it all plays out. Some stereotypes crop up, like the recalcitrant grandma, the feckless mobsters, and the way too deferential family. Best of all is her very big bodyguard, Big Pong, whom you would expect is lovable, and he is. While the tight little drama allows major players to face down the mob, mostly the family itself comes up with ways to keep things moving. In the case of the immovable grandmom, if you feel you may have met some of the eccentrics before, you have in the memorable characters out of the Coen Brothers, whom freshman director Sassy Seeley acknowledges as a big influence. Although China cannot downplay the effects of its virus activity, we are aware that, like Corona, the virus has no firm idea from whence it came or where it will end. Even the music, Andrew Orkin's jazz score, is a unifier that would fit right in anywhere. While this Chinatown promises a melancholy return to good practices and loving families, we know better. For a strong small film to enjoy, those who have had a wisecracking grandma can remember once more an audience global and powerful. An overall good movie, safe for 12 and up to watch. Amusing, with a few good laughs. The actors were engaging and entertaining. The film didn't drag much, kept a pretty good pace. Semi-believable storyline, fun to watch. Thanks for watching. Take care.